Hey and welcome to part 12 of this Python Django tutorial series. Today we're going to go through these tasks. So we can begin by making it possible to add products to the cart from the search and other places. So to do this we need to go into a product list item where all of the HTML for the each, each of the products are. So right now we just have this link which is the, uh, the add to cart link, the one we have here we want to when we click this that this should increment so if i go back here now i can clean up this just add this to each separate lines and then i can just set the href to this and then we can use htmx to add it and to do that we say ajax.get so we need to do a request to this this is just the same as we do inside here so I can actually just make a copy of this, go back and paste it, and then I can copy the target, which is the cart up in the menu, and the action we want to do, which is to swap the outer HTML, and save. So if I now go back and refresh, you should be able to click this, and if I scroll up, you'll see that this incremented to 1, and if I click this, it goes to 2. Perfect. And this should also work if you go to shop. See if I now click this, it incremented to 3. Perfect. So then I can go to the to-do list and set the first task to done. Next step is an error from one of the previous parts. If I try to go to this product, which doesn't have an image, you will get this error. Because the image doesn't have attribute associated with it. So what I can do to fix that is to go to product.html up here where we show the image. Let's just move these two separate lines as well so it's a little bit cleaner. And then here I can check that if we have image for the product by saying if product.image then we use this. If not I want to hard code the URL. Sorry then I say else here and and if and then in here I put the URL. I can use the same as I used in here. So just copy this, go back to the template and paste it. So if I save now and go back and refresh, you will see this image instead of the error we just got. So then I can go back to the to-do list again. And set this task to done. The next step then is to fix the links up in the menu. Because, for example, if I open up base.html, you will see that the link or the logo, this one, doesn't lead anywhere. I want this to go to the front page. So we use the URL function from Django. And the name of this is front page. So let's go and try it. So if I click it now, it leads us to the front page. We don't have a about page yet, so that can just be like it is. And the shop page is already working. Can move that in there. And then I can fix this, which is the user. So I can take this to the login screen for now. URL, login. We will change this to my account later. And then what's left is this. So I can save this file, open up this, sorry, menu cart. And then this should go to the cart page. So URL cart and save. So then I can go back and refresh. So now this should take me to the login page and this should take me to the cart page. Perfect. So then I can go back to the to-do list again and set this task to done. Next step then is to create a separate URLs files for each of the Django apps because right now we have all of the URLs in one file and that is not best practice from Django. I want to move all of the pages which belongs to the core into the core app. So I can go begin by going there to create a new file. So if I scroll up and find the core app, I can create a new file in there, urls.py. And then here I want to first begin by importing path from Django. So from django.urls import path. Then go back here and copy a few things. Here I want to begin 
by copying these four pages here. Just cut and say URL patterns equals and I create a list. And then in here I paste this. And then you see here that I get some errors. So let's go back and copy. Sorry, the shop page is also part of the core app. So these two as well. So I can place them at the bottom like that. So then I can copy this, paste it below the Django URLs import. So now some of the errors are gone. And I can copy this, or sorry, move it like that. And then it's just the auth views from Django. So take this as well, save, and paste it there from Django like that. So now the error is gone and this is a little bit better. But now Django doesn't know how to find this, so we need to say it here, path. So every path which is empty or is not one of these four should go in here and check if there matches any one of these. So let's make this empty and then we just say include core.urls, which is the file we just created. So we need to import include from Django. This is from django.urls, import path, include and include, oops, like that. <laughs> so now if it's empty, it will first go in here and then it will match this. And if it's cart, it will first go in there and see that none of these matches cart and then it will, and then it will continue down here. So then I can do the same thing with the cart. So I can take these three just take them out of there and go to the cart app, create a new file, urls.py and import from django.urls import path and url patterns equals empty list and paste them there. So now we need to import this, which we have already done here. So I can remove it from there and paste it there and save. So now everything here is okay. Then we can just add below here, power pot, empty, include, cart.urls. But if we go into the URLs here, you see that these two begins with cart and this should also actually begin with cart. So I can begin by saying cart here or actually, sorry, it's better to just remove this, remove this, and remove this, like that. And then here, we say that each path that begins with cart should go into this one and save. So if I now go back and refresh, there is an error. No module name cart.url, sorry, it was supposed to be cart.urls. So then I can refresh. So I need to restart the server, refresh, and then everything is okay. And if you remember that I added, now we have cart in front here, but since we used the name add to cart each time we reference this view, Django automatically fixed this for us. So we don't need to change anything else. So now the main URL file looks a little bit better and it's easier to maintain because every page that is inside the cart, is here, and all of the other pages are there. And we're going to continue by building this out more later. So now I can set this task to done. And then the last task is to add title to the browser, because now we just have this. I want to show, for example, when you are here, cart, and we go to shop, I want to say shop, and similar. So we need to do a change to the base.urls, no, sorry, base.html file. Just like we have a um, block content for all of the content that goes in there, I want a similar block just for the title. So at the bottom here, we can say title and then block title and block. 
And then I want all of the pages to undo it. Nordic Homes. So in, for example, let me show you if I go to the front page, then above block content, I can say welcome and save. So if I now go back and refresh and go to the front page, you will say welcome pipe Nordic Homes. And then I want to do this for the other pages as well. So log in. And also the other pages. So shop can just be shop. Sign up should be sign up. And save. And then we also have a few pages in the other app here. The cart. Cart and the checkout page. Check out and save. And then what's left is the product app, which is a little bit different because there we want to show the title of the product. So I'm just do this and we can just say product dot name and save. So if I now go into a product, we'll see a brown leather sofa, Nordic home. Perfect. So then I can go set the task to done like that. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it and if you did please hit like below. See you in the next video.